Camp Crystal Lake, a place of wonders, of mystery, and mystery. Dan, you already said that. A place where danger emerges from every corner of this forsaken city. City? This is a camp. But never fear, for Danny Beaky, the founder of Psycho Martial Arts, the slayer of Sagat, and the guy who puts the D in awesome. The D in awesome? A W E. Huh? You are really bad at this, aren't you? Will you guys shut up? I'm trying to build a moment here. And. moment is ruined. Thanks a lot, you guys. You're welcome. So can you people tell me please why we are here? Don't you remember, Kenzo? We were hired as camp counselors. Yes, I know that. But why are we hired as camp counselors? We're fighters. We can be in the King of Fires tournaments. We know nothing about camp stuff. Yeah, but the people who hired us seem desperate. Thus, we need the money. But in any case, this might be a good opportunity for me to gather some students to learn my fighting style. The Psycho style will finally emerge from the shadows and take its rightful place in the lights. That actually came out pretty good. Thank you. And this might be an opportunity for Kenzo to forget about you know who? Who? Athena son? Athena! Why? 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 Shingo? Oops. Sorry, my bad. You know how devastated he is after Athena dumped him for Yoriyagami? Uh, Athena? Huh. What a weird looking puzzle box. Uh, how do you open this thing? Uh, let somebody else deal with it. Hey, hey! Easy there, man! Now with this job as camp counselors, you might find yourself a new girlfriend! Start fresh! I swear, man, after this weekend, you won't even remember, uh, what's your name's name is. You mean Athena-san? No! <laughs> Dude! Seriously? Sorry, sorry! I should have stayed home. This is so unfair! Why did Athena ditch me for that jerk? What does Lori have that I don't have? He's a badass dude while you are a wimp. <laughs> what is the matter with you sissy girls? Who are you? Wow! Wow! Hello, hot babe. Where have you been all my life? What? Be Janet? What are you doing here? What? Aren't you boys happy to see a hot babe like me? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. Oh, man, she's so hot! Oh, man! Why can't Capcom have hot, sexy babes like SNK? Every time I close my eyes, I wake up feeling so horny. I can't get you out of my mind. Damn it, Shingo, you have a girlfriend! Aren't you boys happy to see a hot babe like me? Oh, yes. Hello, hot babe. Where have you been all my life? Every time I close my eyes, I wake up feeling so horny. I can't get you out of my mind. Damn it, Shingo, you have a girlfriend! Jason, Mother is talking to you. They weren't paying any attention to you, Jason. Make them remember. They're out there, Jason. Find them and get your revenge. Make them remember, Jason. Make them suffer. Make them remember me, Jason. Make them remember. My sweet, sweet 
Jason. Mommy is proud of you. So, so Jeanette san what brings you here to Crystal Lake? I heard that there is a hidden treasure somewhere in these woods, and I am going to find it. Hello there, gorgeous thing. Why don't you and me get to know each other better? And who might you be? Ugh, I'm the great, remarkable, the extraordinary Dan Hibiki, the man who defeated the Emperor Kickboxer Sagat. Never heard of you. Oh, come on. You're going to those woods alone? Yep. I am used to going in scary places like that. I am an adventurous after all. See you later, guys. Yeah. If you find yourself in trouble. In trouble? Just remember. If you're in danger, you can relax because I'm here. here. Oh, aren't you boys just so sweet? Maybe I should let you join my crew. Bye. Man, she really rocks my world. And you didn't even want to come. I was wrong. I admit I was wrong. Whoops. <laughs> Drop the book. Again with your notebook, Shingo? Why are you... Wait, that isn't your usual notebook. Actually, no. This is a book I found in my cabin. A book written by some crazy writer called Crazy Ralph. And... No, 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 not that Ralph. It tells the story about a kid with a deformed face who drowned on the lake of Camp Crystal Lake back in 1957. His name was... Jason Voorhees. Why did you say his name like that? Like what? The kid drowned just like that? Wasn't there anyone with him? No. The camp counselors were having some sexy time in the cabins. They left the kid alone to drown? How irresponsible. Yes. And 20 years later, the kid returns all grown up and seeking revenge on camp counselors. Killing them all and everyone else who got in his way in the most brutal ways. With any sharp objects. Mostly a machete. Ouch! Nasty! The book says that his mother was a crazy lunatic, and that lunacy passed on to him. It says that Jason can hear the voice of his dead mother telling him to kill. It also says that Jason was stabbed dozens of times, but never died. When he did die, he was somehow brought back to life as some kind of zombie creature. He was tied down to the bottom of the lake, he was melted in toxic water. He was sent to hell and returned. And then he fought some crazy knife-wielding glove guy. And yet, he does not die. That'd make one heck of a horror movie, with a lot of sequels. This is weirder than that time I found that flesh book that was inked in blood and had spell incantations in it. Groovy. That guy seems harder to kill than Gisa Rugal. Where did you say you drowned? On the lake! Camp Crystal Lake! WAIT A MINUTE! He drowned here?! Oh sh! You're right! It was here! And you say that this guy only attacks camp counselors? That's what we are! Is that why we hired as camp counselors? Because they're always getting killed by this lunatic? Oh my gosh! We're all gonna die! <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Ease up, you guys! You're worrying too much about this! You guys have Dan Hibiki in your corner! If this Jason shows up, I can easily take him down with my impressive might! After all, I defeated Sagat! Oh, sure, I'm certain that Jason would be really afraid of your accomplishments, Dan. You only have the record of one victory and 389 defeats. You couldn't even defeat Hercule Satan at death battle. Well, that's just a minor detail. Hold on, hold on. Why are we getting old jelly because of what Shingle read on a book? It's just fiction. Just an old fairy tale that is good for scary cap stories. The guy who wrote it's Crazy Ralph 
Seems like a local drunk guy. You know, you're right. You're absolutely right. We got so worked up over nothing. How silly of me. Besides, no one would be that negligent in hiring people to get killed by some lunatic so they could keep this camp open and make money, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, you guys are right. She, she, go! Yeah? Does this Jason... You say that he kills with a machete? And is he a big, huge guy wearing a hockey mask? Yes. How'd you know? Shingo, you might want to look behind you. What? I... Oh, my lord! Jason's real! Jason's real! They deserve to die, Jason. Make them suffer. Everyone, run! Wait! What are we running away from? We're fighters! We fought the best fighters in the world! Why do we need to be afraid of some creepy guy in a mask? You know you have a point. Besides, you guys have the fighter who beat the mighty Sakat in your team. I can take this SOB with my supreme power. God, No way! What do you mean, no way? You honestly think that you, of all people, can take down a monster like Jason? Let me handle this. Jump, you God! Okay. He's a tough bastard. Your turn, Shingo. What? No way! Do you know that Jason has superhuman strength? He once punched a guy's head off with one punch! This guy would fit well in Mortal Kombat! Oh my god! He killed Kenny! You bastard! Don't stop, Jason. They deserve to die. Make them suffer like we did. <laughs> Can we just run? Yes. They're getting away, Jason. Stop them. Make mommy proud, Jason. Don't let them escape. <laughs> He's gone. We're safe. <sighs> now whatever we do, don't fall asleep. Wait, wait, wait. Wrong guy. Great, great. Great job, you guys. We're all gonna die. Why did I let you talk me into this? Hey, Kenzo, take it easy. Take it easy? We have a monster who's far stronger than us out there ready to slaughter us. How am I supposed to take it easy? You calm down? You get unreasonable over little things. I wonder why Athena dumped you. Are you for real? Kinzo, we are well hidden here in this large tree. There's no way Jason could find us here. But he will find us if you don't stop yelling. Oops. You're right. My bad. Just relax. For real this time. We're perfectly safe up here. Jason will never find us. Ah! Avengers Assemble! Avengers Assemble! What is wrong with you? It just came out! I panicked! Then don't say it again! Are you trying to get us copyright issues? Find them, Jason. Make them pay for what they did to us. We're safe. We're safe. How the heck did that bastard find us back there? Okay, the book says that apparently Jason has some teleportation abilities. That Jason is relentless. He doesn't stop chasing us. All because we're camp counselors? The book also says that Jason hates horny teens because of what happened to him. What? But we aren't horny. We didn't have any horny moments all day. 
except when Pete Janet showed before us a few moments ago. What? You mean we're in this mess because we had those naughty thoughts about Janet and her sexy body? Come on, that's a crime? Okay, if Jason kills people in the woods, then who the hell was that one dude who kept killing people in the suburbs? With that pale-faced William Shatner mask. Uh, Yamazaki? Who was that guy? Oh, great. I've had it. I say we make the smartest move and get out of here before Jason finds us. Well, where's your car? It's right... It's right... Huh? It's right there. How did it get here in the woods? Who cares? Let's get out of here! <laughs> Kenzo, you've been in the KOF more times than me, and in all that time you didn't get enough money to buy a better car? Ugh. No. With all my losses in the KOF, I never managed to buy a cool car. I tried to convince Robert to give me one of his cars. One that looks like he's been in the Fast and Furious movies. But he keeps saying no. And you wonder why Athena prefers Iori over you. <laughs> Kenzo? Where are the darn keys? What do you mean? They're in the car. They're always in the car. Why do you have the keys in the car? Matter of fact, do you even know how to drive? Not again! Oh, come on! Is there someone up there that hates me? He's gonna kill us! Help! Okay, I know that Jason has superhuman strength, but I'm calling Bull. He's gonna throw that car at us! Wait, I have an idea. Chuck, you can! <laughs> yes! I got him! Is he dead? He has to be. No way he could survive that, right? Well, I know he was set on fire once. Shingo, you know what? Just lie to me, okay? LIE! Okay, he's dead. And also, you're not a total simp. Happy? Thank you! Man, I'm sure glad this is over. This is definitely the worst night of my life. What day is it? Friday the 13th! Figures. Well, let's get out of here. I don't care if we have to walk all the way back home, I... Wait a minute! My car! I wrecked my car! No! Now he notices this? Well, maybe you can collect some insurance money. Insurance? You didn't get insurance? Ouch. Dude! Even I wouldn't make such a blunder! Jason, my boy. Do you know what your gift is? No matter what they do to you, you cannot die. You can never die. Get up, Jason. Find them. Kill them. Oh, no! Oh, come on! I wasted my car for nothing? Look what they did to you, Jason. Kill them. We have to run! We have to run! Where? We're trapped! It's not fair! It's not fair! The girl of my dreams dumbed me, and now I'm gonna die in the hands of a killer lunatic! Why does the universe hate me? Hey! Who blew up the car? I had treasure in it! You know how much trouble I had just to find that treasure? Jeanette's son? Wait, you took my car? So young. So pretty. Kill them all, Jason. Didn't you hear me? Who is the moron that blew up the car? Well, that would be him. 
But you have to run! That guy's a monster! Monster? I'll show you a monster! Wait, what? What? Uh, what? I don't believe this. I, 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 I don't believe this. After all the trouble we had, Jeanette's son beats Jason with ease. How, how, how did you do that? You dummies. Don't you know? Jason always gets beaten by the final girl. And since I am the only girl in this video, it's only natural that I'm the one who beats him. You gotta be kidding me. Well, time for me to go. This treasure hunt was just a complete waste of my time. I lost the treasure and these woods are unpleasant. This will probably give me nightmares. And I probably have mosquitoes trapped in my lovely hair. Poor me. Poor me. That chick is crazy! But so damn hot! Oh yeah! So, this is how it ends? <sighs> if this were a horror movie or something on YouTube, everyone would say this ending's kinda lame. Well, we're alive, right? So from my point of view, this ending is just perfect! And if they don't like it, I got two words for them. Alright, alright, never mind that. Let's get out of here before Michael Myers shows up. Okay, okay, enough of the fourth wall humor! Don't you know that brings... <laughs> I am really going to send a complete note to the people of Camp Crystal Lake. This camp really needs to be shut down. But it's really a shame. I was hoping to make some money here. Well, I just so happen to have a sheet requiring help from a theme park on an island owned by some rich old man. We can make some big, big money at this job. Really? What's the park's name? Jurassic Park. <laughs> here, I have a question, something I bet our viewers are asking as well. This was supposed to be an SNK video, right? So why is Dan here? He's a Capcom character. Kinzo, haven't you realized it yet? This is a parody video, therefore it doesn't need to make sense. I can't believe I just said that. Oh, right. Okay, you can roll the credits.